welcome to HBO Scripture Corner for Wednesday, January 27th, 2021. We have several things to talk about, so let's get started. First story out of the shoot for this week. Oklahoma lawmaker files bill to establish Bigfoot hunting season. Member of the Oklahoma House of Representatives has filed a bill that calls for the establishment of a Bigfoot hunting season in the state. But what the the trick is the Oklahoma legislature has to meet on February first and decide whether the measure gets a vote or not. At this point it's just a resolution. Now of course some think it's a joke. Well, obviously, they're going to think something like this is a joke. But, the thing is, it may seem like a joke, but it sounds like the uh, individual who is proposing it is serious. So if this gets passed, which I don't know if it will, but if it does, I'll let you know, I'll let you guys know. They're meeting on Monday, next Monday. I imagine there will be an up, a further update to this. I'll let you guys know next week, hopefully. Mystery Creature Photograph in Maine. This, photo, this, pic, this picture was taken and... Supposedly, nobody knew what it was. Until someone identified it as a porcupine. Hmm. There were those who said it might be a beaver. Or a fisher cat. Some said chupacabra. Porcupine? Yeah, I'll take their word for it. That could be a porky. Even though it doesn't have the obvious quills sticking up. So these must be the quills right in here. Interesting. Here's another possible big cat story. Black Panther photographs in Australia. This is the creature in question. Some think it's a dog though. The photographer insists that the creature had the head of a cat and its movements resembled that of those of a feline, considering it may have been a large feral cat. There's really no sense of scale, to be quite honest, except for what looks like corn. If you can measure the corn, and then do rough measurements of whatever this is. You might be able to determine what it is. Is it really a large feral cat? Is it a quote unquote black panther? In Australia? Who knows? Very fascinating case however. Now here is an interesting theory. Could the Loch Ness Monster be an ancient sea turtle? Scientists who have spent decades researching the Loch Ness Monster have put forth a fascinating new theory. 
that which argues that the creature could be an ancient sea turtle. Dr. Henry Bauer, retired chemistry professor from Virginia Tech. He's even written a book. I'm going to have to see about getting his book. He apparently has written a book on a monster. But does that explain the humps that are sometimes seen and photographed? Of Nessie. Of course, those could be hoaxes, obviously. But still, fascinating stuff. An ancient sea turtle? An eel? Active imaginations? Waves? Hoax? Whatever Nessie is, it's a bona fide tourist attraction, that's for sure. Finally, and I haven't watched this yet, but apparently there is a debate on YouTube. Dr. Jeff Meldrum versus Science Side Up. Bigfoot debate. You would think that nobody would want to debate Dr. Meldrum on Bigfoot. But hey, he's not the end-all be-all. Just imagine Grover Kranz in a debate like this. But it's Dr. Jeff Meldrum. Dr. Meldrum may not be the end-all be-all, but he's pretty close. So why not? Why not have a debate with Dr. Meldrum? He's the closest thing we have to an expert. And he does have scientific credentials. I don't see why not. I don't see why they shouldn't debate him. I have not watched the debate. I do plan to watch it. And give my, th my thorough thoughts on it next week. And that's going to do it for this week. I want to thank you very much for tuning in. You guys are the heart of the show. We always appreciate you guys. And make sure you let me know if I'm cutting out. I didn't get any feedback saying that I was cutting out last week, so I guess I may have fixed the problems. So, anyway, y'all be good or be good at it. This is me, GM, Crypto Corner.